diagnosis of dementia is not a single test diagnosis. It is a jigsaw puzzle of many pieces in which you put it all together to try to find what the final picture looks like. Now, the diagnosis of dementia often remains elusive in the early stages. This is because patients may just present with occasional symptoms of memory loss and you do not know if this patient is suffering from dementia or not. Now, in order to talk about the diagnosis of dementia, let's see or let's understand what's actually happening in a person's brain. Now, a normal person undergoes shrinkage of the brain from the age of 30 onwards at about 0.2 to 0.5% per year. Now, it is abnormal when it is 10 times higher than that at about 1 to 2% per year. Now, in order to diagnose dementia, your physician may perform several tests, of which include the clinical history and examination, cognitive testing to test your mental capabilities, psychiatric evaluation to assess if there are any other mental health conditions causing the symptoms that you may have, and finally, the laboratory tests, because we know things like vitamin B12 deficiency or a poorly functioning thyroid gland may cause symptoms that look like dementia. Now, these pieces of the jigsaw puzzle, however, only get us closer to the diagnosis of dementia. The actual diagnosis of dementia is a tissue diagnosis, but we do not do a tissue diagnosis in a living individual. So, the closest way that we have at looking at what brain tissue looks like is through imaging. There are several types of imaging, which are CT, MRI, and PET. But what is most available in the primary evaluation of the patient and gives us the most comprehensive amount of information is MRI. But MRI in its current state today is still only able to exclude things like tumors, bleeding, and strokes. It is not very good at telling us shrinkage in the brain. And so this is where artificial intelligence MRI brain volumetry is able to tell us if there is abnormal shrinkage in the brain. In essence, it's like placing a ruler over the brain and measuring volumes at different parts of it. And this piece of the jigsaw puzzle is a very important one. When we know there's abnormal shrinkage going on in the brain, your physician will take this information and put it together with the rest of the clinical information to decide whether a person has dementia or not. So you may ask, how do I go about getting this test? Now, it is not difficult. It is just like a routine MRI brain or stroke screen. You do not have to do an additional scan but it's just part of that scan where you additionally do this artificial intelligence analysis that provides you with this additional information. So there is no additional scan time, there's no radiation, and there is no IV injection involved. Now, with this additional information, we know that we can sometimes make a diagnosis of dementia up to one to two years earlier than current conventional methods. So today, if you do feel that you're experiencing symptoms of memory loss or are concerned about dementia because of a family history of dementia, please do seek advice from your physician and ask them about artificial intelligence, MRI brain volumetry, and how we can help you. Thank you.